yeah. Making money, making moves. Why you have no clues? I'm a judge to this money. Cause the shit's some blue. I'm finessing all these bitches. My will be changes. Before Lil Mina will be hosted on the trend. Before Lil Mina will do collabs with the likes of Kahush, Dovuku, and Brooklyn Boys. Before Lil Mina will amass 127,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. Who was he? Who was this kid who won the hearts of many young Kenyans? Who was this kid? Where did he come from? And how did he rise to the top? This is Before the Fame, Kenyan edition. Kindly like and subscribe to this channel to support future content. Lil Mina started as one of the funny kids on the internet. By then, he was living with his grandmother and grandfather, who often featured on the skits that he made online. Lil Mina's music journey started very early in his childhood, as early as 2018. Lil Mina was seen rapping on beats and posting them to his YouTube channel. His love of rap music was unfathomed as he was seen to have a very good mastery of rapping at a very early age where we don't see young kids like that anymore. Why you hitting on me, Labado? Although it's not music that got Lil Maina noticed first, Lil Maina caught the attention of many people through the Omegle videos that he was making and posting online. For those who are not familiar with the Omegle platform, Omegle is a video platform that allows you to video call with other people users who are totally strangers chosen in random. The awkwardness of the video was what made them funny and appealing to Lil Miner's young fans. The videos would later go on and gain hundreds of views, giving him a rather big audience. Hi. Hi. Hi, Daddy. Let me suck your balls, bro. Dear listener. 2020 was a year of COVID-19. This pushed many users to the internet. So it was easy to get views on the internet because so many people were spending very much time on the internet platforms like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And this is where many content creators gained their fame, the likes of Aziad Nasenya. And Lil Miner was one of the people who gained Kenya's attention on the internet by posting the Omegle videos. At this time, the Kenyan audience was being introduced to a new style of hip-hop music known as Drill, and artists like Wakadinali and Brooklyn Boys had took up on this. Yo. This had a very big influence to Lil Maina, who later used the same style in his music. It was late 2020 when Lil Miner released Stretch Max Kohaga, which at the time of making of this video has amassed up to 43,000 views on YouTube. The song trended because of the funny nature of it, but also reintroduced Lil Miner as a musician to his audience. Dear listener, remember Lil Miner used to post rap videos as early as 2018 but these rap videos were mostly in English and he rapped over already old school beats that he used to rap over them. Now, it was late 2020 when Lil Mina was reintroduced to music, but this time he came with a different style, rapping on beats but in a funny way and using the Sheng language. <laughs> Nikona stretch mas kohaga, 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 N
na stretch mas kohaga Diko na kwa Diko na stretch mas kohaga Stretch marks Kohaga was closely followed by Unamaliza Chapongapi which was also received well by fans and up to now has amassed hundreds and thousands of views on his YouTube channel Due to the funny and playful nature of the songs, fans had a very really difficult time to categorize him as a content creator or a serious musician, in which he later responded by saying he is both a content creator and also a musician. Are you a content creator or are you a musician or are you an entertainer? What are you, brother? It's crazy. Mm. It's crazy because I'm crazy. Crazy. Um, everywhere. You're everywhere, but I'm more of a content creator. Uh -huh. But say, 2022, mm. I'm a rapper. You're a rapper. I'm a rapper. 2022, any rapper? Rapper, Nikitaka. Na see your, uh, Maybe I didn't extend a co actor. See your presence. Uh -uh. He went on to release Kitambi, Jabba, and Ngong Effect, which had the same style of music of rapping on old beats using the Sheng language. By this time fans could see that a very big influence of Lil Miner's music came from the Kapuka style which was sung by the likes of Juakali, Caesars and all those old school Kenyan artists. He was just reintroducing them in a new manner. Lil Miner put a stamp on the music industry when he released the video to Stretch Max Kohaga, which was received well and solidified his position in the music industry. By this time, fans had already took notice and were playing his songs. This was due to the many challenges on TikTok that young fans had posted. This played a very major role in pushing Lil Miner's music to his young audience. 2021 went on to be the year of Lil Maina as he released some major hit songs like There Is Nothing That I'm Doing featuring upcoming rapper Kahush and Umbuakni. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, only thing that Bamba. songs played a very pivotal role in Lil Miner's career because these songs went on to be an anthem to his young fans and also added up to the cult of fans that were building up on his fan base. If you have watched up to here, please like, subscribe for more content like this. But what really blew the minds of fans happened near the end of the year when he released Kishash, which he featured Ndovuku. Kishash went on to become an anthem to the Kenyan youths and also his highest viewed music video with 7.3 million views at the making of these videos. I usi does know you mimi ni na kamu Manze huku mje na ito one minute man Ati mi uboba tamon high demand Depression ni kikikin manze ni takibani Kishash, kobas Dear listener, I want you to note that the year is still 2021 and Lil Maina is making some major moves in the industry just a year after he started taking his music seriously. This can only be explained by the fans that he had, many people calling it a cult. Lil Miner used a very rare skill that was used by American rappers like Playboy Cutty, which included of playing snippets to anticipate the release of a, f of a song. So the snippets were already being used on TikTok before even the song came out. So that when the song came out, it was well awaited and is well received by fans. He used the same method and it has worked perfectly. Lil Miner had started to get commercial success as he was also getting deals such as Fanta. That meant that music was actually paying because it was the same year that he released a vlog featuring the famous singer Nikita Kering, 
who fans thought had chemistry and also spark rumors of romance between them, which Lil Maina later said in an interview that is not there, that Nikita Kering was just a friend. After releasing Kishash, things went quiet for a while in music and Lil Maina made a comeback with a new love that he had found, vlogging. What's up guys, ha, welcome back to my channel. Hey, I'm chilling with my family friend over here, so get used to that. So, Nikwa Pakwa Bezia Trump actually and I'm a black person, so you understand. So it is there of obvious people This was the year that we saw Lil Miner's mom who was living in the US. Lil Miner did a vlog while on one of his trips to the US. And vlogging became something that the fans loved as the vlogs amassed so many views, hundreds, thousands of views on his YouTube channel. At the end of 2022, Lil made a comeback again in music by releasing Zoza featuring Brooklyn Boys and Alat only five months later. Okay, on the Remember, Brooklyn Boys and Wakadinali has always played a pivotal role in Lil Miner's career as Lil Miner was a very big fan of Brooklyn Boys and Wakadinali. So, coming to work on them on songs like Zoza and later working with Scam Cardinali proved that Lil Miner had reached the heights in his career where he met his heroes. By this time, Lil Miner was a household name in music and he was doing sold out shows with crowds screaming his lyrics. Dear listener, this is also the year that tragedy hit. Just some time after releasing a lot, Lil Miner's grandfather, better known as Babu, as referred to him in his vlogs, passed away. This was heavy even to his fans, as he was very close to his grandfather and he was even featured in some of his music videos such as Stretch Max Kohaga and Kishash. Dear listener, let me remind you, his grandfather also featured in his skits early on in his career and I started by saying he was living with his grandmother and grandfather. This was very heavy on Lil Miner. Lil Miner went quiet for a while, but he continued making vlogs of his trips to the US and also announcing his upcoming album, Maisha Yastana. Using the same method that as before, Lil Maina was releasing snippets on Instagram and posting content also on Instagram to anticipate the release of his new songs. Remember, Lil Maina had a cult following and challenges were being done left, right and center after the release of these snippets. Let me remind you again, dear listener, that this time Kenyan music industry had copied his style of sampling old school music and mixing it with Sheng lyrics and they had called it Abanton. For me, I think Abanton came about by the heavy influence of Lil Miner by taking old school beats and rapping over them with Sheng lyrics as Abanton had the same style of music. Is he the pioneer of Abanton music? To me, I think absolutely yes. This genre had produced artists such as YBW Smith, Dansky, who later worked with Lil Miner on his album. I continued with these vlogs and on August of 2023, Lil Miner released Maji Kwenye Klabu, a single of his album, Maisha Yastana, featuring Scam Cardinali, who was one of three of the Wakadinali, and later he dropped the album on December, and you know, the rest.
As of now, the making of this video, dear listener, Lil Minor is a household name and he is known all over by the Kenyan youth because he took the music industry with a very versatile style and artistry that he was even able to create his own genre and at the same time he was able to retrieve a style that was long forgotten by the Kenyan music industry, Kapuka. As we see in Abanton, Kapuka has been revived and also Gengeton has also been revived through Abanton. For me, I think that is the case. Lil Miner is a versatile artist who pushed the limits of creativity and pioneered a new type of music that has influenced a generation. His contribution to the music industry will always be iconic. We can't wait for what he has for us. As I finish the video, Maisha Yastana has been released with features from YBW Smith, Dansky, Scam Cardinali and others. Lil Miner has once again gone off the grid. We don't know what his next plan is, but whichever it is, we know that he's good and will play a pivotal role in his career. That is how Lil Minor rise to the top of the music industry in Kenya. For more videos like this, like, subscribe and press the bell button to be notified of any videos dropping soon.